Mickey. This is fun. Let's see how many can get their two balloons. Dave Brown, again, these are mostly steel and TT 17s built by the Boeing Aircraft Company in World War II. They got the contracts. The Wombo Company built gliders, about 10,000 of those that were towed into battle. I'm going to post this on YouTube, Barry. In a bit, but let's, let's release that balloon, there it goes. Dave Brown, Paul, man. man. You heard it, Pat. You heard it pop, it's one for the Navy. The Navy paid its steerman. Baron, you can have the Navy, I'll take the Army Air Corps. Okay, what are we betting? You can win a free hot dog from Peaky Cafe. All right. Keith Furman, Chief Pilot for American Airlines, Washington, D.C. Watch the balloon descending from the top one. Now the, the balloons are trapped in some disturbed air. It makes it difficult. See the balloon going down? It's a lesson in wake turbulence. If you sand, if you're following, well don't ever, but if you're underneath the 747, you're in deep trouble. That is though with a new 680 cubic inch, 300 horsepower light combing engine he just put in. Boy, it sounds good. There it is, see it going in circles? Right back down to the ground. Wide stance landing gear of the Waco Weaver Aircraft Company built in Troy, Ohio. And John Kokow gets it. We had the Army Air Corps in World War II. We didn't have a standalone Air Force until 1947. Dave Kahn. He gets it. Brian Kahn brothers. There was another pop by Rick Kahn, now the finest flight instructor here on the East Coast. Chuck Tippett, you want to learn to fly? There's the man, right there. We see two in the front in that airplane, $180 for two people. And he gets it. A wild maneuver at the end. What was that there? Do you think somebody dropped something? Yeah, I think when, uh, not, not this guy here in the red, but the blue, when he did his turn like this. I thought I saw something fall out of his yeah, my, my little man here says it might have been his wallet. His wallet? Okay, well don't go out there. It's very dangerous. Here we go. It's, uh, gotta go way down for that one. Woo! Too low. That balloon was too low and he waved it off. Absolutely right. Uh, how, how, now, how going? Yes, go ahead, Brian. Uh, I was gonna say, how much money do you think is in that wallet you dropped? I have no idea. But there it is, the circles going down. See that drop wash going around in circles. Keith Furman. Almost. Hey, Mr. Luck, so we are going to go get the wallet and find out how much money is in it. Well, don't go out there. We got a bombing run scheduled. Uh, it's just all fake. You'll be, Wait, fine. Bomb. You'll be in the way. Yeah. All right, here we go with another attack. Chris, so this is like the coolest part that I heard about, man. There were three balloons up there. Talk about the bomb. Flower bags. Imagine. Imagine. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Frank weaving his way through the balloons and missing all four of them. It's not that easy to see these things. Not at all. Oop-de-doop. Now that Waco Weaver Aircraft Company built in Lorain County, Ohio. And there's a museum out there you can go to. Here we go, John Fulton. Did you get it? Nice. I didn't hear that one. This is a side slip to the, to the left. We'll talk about side slips in a bit. Come on. Dave's going to do some great aerobatics in that airplane in just a minute. Yes. And he gets it. Look at that knife edge pass there. Coming yep. in with the Army Air Corps my man, my man was about to land, crash land himself and freaking blow himself up. There we go. Our oh. president, Justin Furrier, and now... Oh. 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 It did look like he missed his hand. But he did just slice the tip of the balloon with his propeller. Now we're we'll in the field for the bombing demonstration. With three Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. 
be right. Your mom and is we'll bombing. See how close we can come I think all of them are bombing. The field. We get the ground crew off the field. They're in the way. The action one looks like the wall. And the Baron is still out there. Oh my we god, my guy literally just Baron. dropped his Pepsi. Should we bomb the Baron? The Baron is going to get bombed. Move that car, everybody. We want to see the Baron get bombed. Blow him up. 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 Kind of way, isn't it? Yeah. You can't see him. Hey. There he's way out there. Flower bombs. He's burning for us. Bombard him. He's a spallet. Oh. This is what you be This is what this guy gets for real doing. John Wire. Like, 44, nice. Bad, no, no, no. I know they're way out there, it's hard to see. <laughs> and the car is in the way to go. Here we go, finally, we can come on. Okay. And this is the reason that the GPS was the car. Yup. Because they're missing everything, basically. By the way, I'm going to post this on YouTube. John Potok closing in, dropping the sack of flour. Oh. Oh, the bomb there. Now we got a bracket bomb. Ooh, ooh, two, 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 two. No. Yes. Looks like nobody's been hit yet. The Flying Con Brothers, Rick and Dave. Hey, yo. And Chuck Tippett closing in. Oh, he got one. That's a splatter. Now, the ailerons on the uh, Travel Air 4000 right. work the same as the ailerons, which cause the airplane to bank. Um, on the steering. Two on the top wing, two on the bottom. I think they all went by now. Well, one of those guys is in the outhouse. Shut the door. Goodbye, YouTube. How do we get him out of there? 